What is up, guys and girls, and welcome to Talk of the Tyne, the era after Shearer. Take it away, big man. What is up, guys and girls, and welcome back to a brand new series here on my channel. This is Talk of the Tyne, the era after Shearer. So we're using the um, Mad Scientist's FM20 database for the 0607 season. So as you can see, we have uh, been hired by Newcastle United. Um, eyebrows have been raised in the world of football at the appointment of 35 year old, that's not my age, uh, who has recently spent time away from club football and is sure to face plenty of questions when he faces the media for the first time at St James's Park. Players has put pen to paper on a two year deal worth 43.5k per week. Probably don't need that much. But they they gave me what they what they thought I was worth. So he replaced his previous manager, Glenn Roder. I mean, can't do much worse, surely, right? Um, plays lacks the reputation of a title specialist. So I'm reading this from my other screen, which gives the club's current ambitions creates an intriguing dynamic as they intend to challenge. For major honours, apparently. So that is that. Um, we have been appointed by Newcastle United. Awesome stuff. This is our um, first team, or our main first team. Um, and we've got Shea Given in goal, legend. Celestine Babiaro, Titus Bramble. Um, Stephen Taylor. And is that Stephen Carr? Sorry, my, my my second screen. These are screenshots. So I've got them on my second screen. Um, I can't see them very well. I think it's Stephen Carr. Um, so the defence is a bit shaky. The only one we're really, really going to be keeping there is Stephen Taylor. We're going to start building a team around a couple of players. Um, I'm not saying all the players I don't start building the team around are going to be gone out the door. But what I am saying is that I, I want to keep a core group of players. Um, so that's our defence. Think that has a lot to uh, a lot to be uh, improved. Uh, then we've got Damien Duff, um, Emray. We're just going to call him Emray because everyone only ever called him Emray, and um, for good reason as well because his surname's quite hard to say. Scotty Parker and Nobby Solano. Um, no James Milner there, which is quite a shock. But James Milner is going to be one of the players we are looking to build the team around, as is Scott Parker. Um, and then we've got Oberfemi Martins and Michael Owen up top. Now, I did want to say that uh, before we ca carry on with the Michael Owen thing, because Michael Owen is out the door, um, personal reasons. Uh, so it does say we've got Giuseppe Rossi on loan uh, from Man United, which was the case back then, and he was pretty good. He, he weren't too bad. We also have randomly Danny Rose on loan from Leeds United. I don't know if that's a, a mistake from the uh, database editor, Mad Scientist. Um, he is currently on loan at Newcastle from Tottenham at the minute. So I think that's just a bit of a a, a miss there. So um, yeah, that's our first team apparently. Top owner, Michael Owen. Bye-bye. Um, and our hot prospect is Phil Huntington. Do you remember him? He was, he was, he was quite a quite a good prospect we'll have to have a look see what happens to him at some point um but yeah uh, we've also got quite a good backup set of goalkeepers as well so we will have a look at those the full team in just a second um next we've got our club vision can't see this being a problem we're already a premier league team albeit not a very great one right now but there's a lot of potential in this team and i think we can actually push to um do well um, so in our first year, we've got to sign players under the age of 22 for the future. No problem. We know a few secret ones, don't we? Um, because obviously we're living in the future. So easy peasy. Uh, play possession football. What? Like, do they know Newcastle are not very great at passing? Play attacking football. Now, we have got Michael Owen. We have got uh, Oberfemi Martins. We've got some attacking midfielding uh, players as well. Um, and we've also got Big Andy Carroll. 
who's only a youngster at the minute. So that's a possibility. Do not sign players over the age of 30. Never do. I never do that anyway in, in any save um, I've ever done. Always looking for the younger players. Uh, Five-year plan, ongoing work within the wage budget. Is there a team that actually say don't worry about working within the wage budget? Is that a thing? Like I've never actually managed a team where they've got in the last year or two um, on uh, 19 or 20 foot manager when this uh, vision came into play properly where they haven't said work within the wage budget. Um, I guess that's a, a staple of all, all the clubs. But I would like to know, have you ever been at a team where they haven't said work within the wage budget? If you have, in the comments, drop me a message and uh, I'll be great to hear it. Um, so end of current season. So we need to qualify for the Euro Cup. So that's saying a top six, seven finish. Okay. I believe the season, this season was the last season we were in um, the Europa League. <clears throat> um, I think we got knocked out. Was it AZ Alkmaar? I don't know. I can't remember. But yeah, so we we should all be in the Euro, Europa Cup. Um, so we're going to look to stay in that. Reach the fifth round of the FA Cup, minimum. Um, this Newcastle team shouldn't find that a problem. The new Newcastle team, currently in 2020, although actually, no, this, this actually Newcastle team, we actually haven't done too bad. Um, but the previous years, in between now and then, um, not, not a good... Um, round uh to reach um euro cup reach quarter final minimum so we've got a qualifier for the europa cup and reach the quarter final hmm i like a challenge so that's all good uh league cup not important um and then end of the 21 end of 2021 season become recognized as the best of the rest so that's that's just outside the top six is it um, so that's quite interesting. So we've got some uh, things to play to, towards there, some challenges. Um, we'll, we'll see how we go. But we do have the card up our sleeve that um, we are fairly well in the know of all the youngsters around this time. So that's pretty cool, um, who we will be looking to bring in. Um, so, yeah, that's our current vision. Now we're going to take a look at Michael Owen. And here he is. What an absolute baller. Finishing 20. First touch 15. Heading 16. Not bad for a short lad. He's shorter than me. Um, and he weighs less than me. I'm not jealous at all. Technique 16. Teamwork 17. Off the ball 19. Determination 19. Decision 17. Concentration 17. Composure 18. Anticipation 19. Look at all them greens. Four and a half star. He's probably... One of like he's probably reaching his potential there. Michael Owen is truly one of the world's football's global superstars. He has made 80 appearances and scored 30 goals for his country. Owen, 26, joined Newcastle from Real Madrid for 17 million in 2018. Michael Owen, no, he didn't. In 2018. Okay, fair enough. Anyway, yeah, Michael Owen has spent his entire career at Newcastle United. No, he hasn't. But has so far failed to make a league appearance. So the, this is just due to the um, the, the it's, it being a fresh new database. It's just been made. You can see there, you know, he played for, you know, apparently played for um, Liverpool from 1996 to 2004, 04 to 05. And that's right, 05 to 06, Newcastle. And he's still playing. That's because this is this year's game, 2019 to 20. So he's, they signed back there. So, he's been at Newcastle for two years. The thing that makes me laugh is his natural fitness is 14. Like, that's that's almost laughable, right? That's almost laughable. The problem is with Michael Owen is that he's an absolute fucking cunt, basically. Like, I hate him with a passion. So much so that he's not ever going to play for my team even though, even though, like, he's this good. He's this good. He's probably one of the best players I've ever had on any of my teams because I usually play lower league teams. But do you know what? Um, he is going on the transfer list. And the asking price is going to be 
40 million. And if he doesn't get bought, then he's going to be... Is it? He's, yeah, yeah. If he doesn't get bought, then I'm basically going to leave him on the bench or even worse, in the reserves because I just fucking hate him. So, yeah, that's that's Michael Owen. See you, Michael. You absolute blurt. I hate you so much with a passion. Right, so, um, the dynamics, abysmal. That is that is a bit, a bit worrying, but it's all good. Dressing room atmosphere is okay. Managerial support is okay. Team report. So we've got our we've got our usual tactics loaded in. That's not going to happen. Um, Oberfemi Martins. Let's have a look actually at our under eighteens, or maybe our under twenty threes. Andy Carroll, heading sixteen, finishing. So he's got a lot of work to be doing. I'm surprised he's not better. To be fair, I am surprised he's not better. Um, we are going to play him though we're definitely going to play him let's move him to the senior squad um, because he is going to be uh, our backup striker we are going to be looking at getting more staff Alan Shearer oh, that's a shame I would have loved to have got him in as a as a coach We've got Peter Beers. He's already there. Um, I would have loved to have got Alan Shearer in. It's a shame he's not in the co as, in a, as a coach. But yeah, um, so this is this is basically where we're going with the uh, save at the minute. We we are going to bring some new players in, um, which we'll look at next next time. Um, we're going to bring some more staff in, which we'll also look at next time. Andy Carroll is high high injury risk. Hopefully this is all before he got injured at his injury days, so it's not too bad. But let's just have before we go, let's have a look at our squad. So we've got Shea Given, obviously an absolute beast of a goalkeeper. Um and you know, I don't see any problems for the next couple of years with him. Stephen Carr, it was Stephen Carr. Uh could probably get a better better defender than Stephen Carr. Stephen Taylor, up and coming. He's only twenty years old and He's one of the players I'm hoping to build this team around. Um, whether it will change, I don't know, but we'll see. Um, Titus Bramble. Um, big Titus. I mean, he was never very good, was he? I mean, he looks all right here. 16 bravery, 17 heading. He doesn't look too bad, but I still think we can do better. And Babiaro, again, looks half decent, but I think we can do better. Our whole defence pretty much is going to have to be uh, torn out. Steven Taylor. Um, is the only one who I'm going to try and keep there, depending on who we can bring in. Um, Scotty Parker, obviously beast. We're going to keep him. Um, a lot of 18s. Um, 19 work rate. He was a really, really, really good workhorse. Um, Nicky Butt. Now, he, he might be worth um, trying to sign as... Can we? Oh, we can't. Nicky Butt would have been quite a good little uh, assistant manager, I think, if we could have uh, got that. We will look at that. He looks half decent. M Ray, um, he was quality back in the day. I mean, look, he's he's actually he's actually pretty good here. Um, so he may well stay in the team for a bit. Um, James Milner. 20 year old James Milner still got the best to come um, and I mean he can play in a lot more positions in 2020 a shame we can't play all through the middle like he can in 2020 but it's all good um, we'll, we'll we'll be looking to keep hold of him Damien Duff he was pretty good uh, and rapid uh, pace 16 acceleration 15 so he's pretty good uh, 27 years old he may be going and uh, we may look to cash in on him because that's quite a lot of money for for him. Michael Owen is definitely going. Um, Steve Harper, great servant, but you know, I don't know if he's going to ever get a game because we do still have, um, they're not even here at the minute. We've still got Tim Kroll and we've still got um, Fraser Forster. Them two are going to be pushing to get into the first team. So Steve Harper probably isn't going to make it. Craig Moore, I mean, 
He's got some good attributes, but he's 30 years old. Probably not going to be staying for very long. Charles Nzogbia, he was pretty good. Um, he's only 20 years old. Will he survive the coal? We'll see. Um, all this depends on who we can bring in. Uh, Oberfemi Martins, 21 years old. Like, I still don't believe that he was 21 years old. Um, but look at the pace and the acceleration there. Like, he he really, really could um, be someone we keep in this team. Um, and I don't know why we got rid of him in the end. Peter Ramage fell a bit short of the actual Newcastle team. Um, he played a few games, but it's probably not going to be kept uh, unless something really, really good happens. Kieran Dyer um, looking like a really, really old man there. Um, I'm surprised he's not better, to be honest. He might also be uh, on his way out. Um, Giuseppe Rossi on loan. Um, pretty good. He's pretty good, but he's a striker. And you're probably not going to need him. Um, Olivia Bernard, 26-year-old. He's lacking. Probably going to get rid of him. Albert Luque, remember him? Um, probably going to be getting rid of him. Shola, 24-year-old Mackham Slayer here. Shola. I mean, he's not bad. He's not bad. Um, I can't see him... I'm going to keep him. I'm going to keep him just because... I might put him out on loan or whatever, but I'm going to try and keep him because I love Shola Miobi. Who doesn't love Shola Miobi? Nabato, Nabato Solano. Really good attributes for him. And... Um, He's getting on a bit though. So another potential staff member there, um, if we can do it. Anton Sibierski, again, another potential staff member. Um, and then we've got Andy Carroll, heading 16, bravery 17, aggression 18. That could be a bit of a problem. Um, I do hope that we can make him the player he should have been um, before he was ruined by Liverpool. Um, fingers crossed, I guess. Um, so yeah, that's that's the first team. That is what where we're at now. Um, so we we will be uh, starting this at three o'clock every Saturday, football time. While there's no football on, um, and we will go through and see how long it takes us. We we're just going to try and get Newcastle to the top again. Maybe win the Champions League, maybe once or twice. Be the best team in England and possibly the world. Um, and we you know it takes however long it takes. Hopefully. Um, it's not going to be a long, long series. It's going to be quite. It's going to. I've called it a mini series for a reason. So yeah. Um, if you've enjoyed this video, guys, make sure you hit that like button. If you're new around here, subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss any future uploads of anything I do. And also, if you want to drop a message below the video, I'll always try and get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you very much, guys. Peace out.